Joining us now is Dr. Richard Besser, former colleague of ours, dear friend, now president of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and former acting director of the CDC. Rich, always good to have you with us and, and, and want to get your input here because we just heard Moderna's positive results with vaccines that also target Omicron and its subvariants. Should people wait until those new vaccines are approved before getting their boosters, Rich? You know, Robin, there, there's a lot of things people have to think about here. One is, you know, what is your own personal risk? Are you in a group that's at a greater risk for hospitalization or potentially dying from, from COVID? One of, the, one of the challenges here is that the vaccine manufacturers are really chasing the variants as they, as they mutate. So the Moderna data um, that they uh, uh, shared in their, in their press release is encouraging in terms of targeting Omicron overall, but it's not as good against these new BA4 and BA5 variants. And I think by the fall, we could be seeing even other variants. So my recommendation is that each person should remain fully vaccinated, up to date in terms of who they are, what vaccine they received, their age group and their risk factors. Mm -hmm. And that will vary. So talk to your doctor about that. I've gotten my my second booster and, and I expect that this fall I'll be getting another booster, whether it's one of the same or whether it includes an Omicron uh, variant. Uh, it's too soon to say on that. And, and Rich, picking up on part of what you just talked about there, you know, much of what we're hearing about the new variant is concerning, though, as we keep emphasizing, it does appear that it's not causing severe illness at this point. But how does this new variant, how does it respond to antibodies from vaccines and previous infections? Yeah, you know, you know, as as the virus changes, as it mutates, little changes occur to to parts of the virus. One in particular called the spike protein, that allows the virus to to get around the protective factors, those antibodies that the vaccines and previous infection have have, have given us. Uh, we get some protection because, as you're right, we're not seeing an increase in deaths around the country, thankfully, uh, but we are seeing a lot of increase in cases, and and that is because of those small changes. Changes that occur. And until this, this virus is controlled everywhere around the globe, we're going to continue to see a lot of new strains coming, and that's going to be challenging to us all. And Rich, bottom line this for us, I don't, I don't have to tell you, there is so much fatigue right now, a bit of confusion. What is the most important thing that you want our viewers to know this morning? Yeah, I, you know, I, I would say know that that everyone's risk is not the same. There may be someone around you who has a disability, who has a, a medical condition that puts them at, at increased risk. What you do matters for them. Know what's going on in your community so that as the levels go up, you can take those steps like wearing masks indoors that could help protect you, your family, and those around you. All right, Dr. Richard Besser, always a pleasure to see you again. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.